What's up, YouTube Techno Guys 3? Today I'm going to be unboxing, yes, unboxing the Microsoft LifeCam Cinema HD. And I'm kind of excited about this because I haven't seen anyone else unbox it till now. It's being unboxed. So, let's get on to it. What? Let's get this unboxed here. Go ahead and cut this little tape thing, which is really annoying. Hate those tape things. Okay. Now let's see how this comes out. Well, that's interesting. Looks like this comes out first. If I'm going to get anything out. Well. Let's go ahead and see what's in here before I unbox the actual product. We have Start Here Guide. So I guess it's the guide on how to uh, get it all set up. Move that to the side. Uh, the software for the webcam. And the contents for the product guide, all that crap. I've heard that this webcam takes up a crap load of system resources so I'm definitely going to get that to get get that covered in the review that I'm going to be doing in one, in one or two weeks how do you get this out? I wish I would have known earlier that the whole thing just slid out that would have been helpful so yeah I'm so bad at unboxing this. Some unboxings just don't seem to work out sometimes. So I'm going to take this cardboard crap off. Go ahead and take that off. And it's in this plastic shell, so I'm going to take this wire out here. Try not to damage it. Uh, see how this works. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. As I hear, this is this webcam is better than the Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000. But um, some people complain that it doesn't work very well for live streaming because of programs like Wirecast and VidBlaster are unable to handle the really weird resolutions. And it just doesn't work very well. So I move all this crap to the side. Sorry that you have to see all this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Whoops, wrong button. So here we are. So all you see is the product. This is the LifeCam Cinema itself. I'm going to untangle this cord right here. Because I want to see how long the, the cord that comes with it is. Oops, well, there goes that. It has this nice little uh, cord organizer. I like that. So I'm going to take off this. What is this? Install software before you plug into the device. Which I'm not going to do. It's plug and play on Windows machines. So let's see how exactly this works. It's made of all aluminum very nice looking. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, the lens looks real nice. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it looks it looks really good. The cord appears to be uh, like three feet at most. Uh, pretty good size cord. Works for me. It looks like you can turn this any which way. All 360 degrees, you can turn it. I, I like that too. You can you can move it up and down. S tons of swiveling options for this. You can move it any which way. I like that. Definitely like that. And the stand is like this really sticky, flexible stand. You can move it in any direction to pretty much stick it to anything. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool too. Well, 
It seems that the microphone on this baby is pretty good, but uh, there is a little high-pitched noise in the background. Some people think that's because of the noise canceling. But everything about this webcam seems really good. It shoots in HD, 720p. I'm definitely going to cover it very, very well, as well as I possibly can in the review that's in a few, maybe one, two weeks. So, I'm probably going to use this HD camera that I'm using right now, the one you're seeing this on. I'm probably going to stop using as much and start using this camera because uh, they say it's really, really good for just recording videos, not necessarily streaming, but recording videos on, which is a lot of what I'm going to use it for. So, yeah. This has been Techno Guy 3 with the Life Cam Cinema. Uh, hopefully it works really well. Uh, not really much else to say other than thanks for watching.